A Ship of the Line and Flying Colors are two novels by C.S. Forrester that follow the adventures of Horatio Hornblower, a naval officer during the Napoleonic Wars. The books are set in the early 19th century and provide an immersive insight into the workings of the Royal Navy and the challenges faced by its officers. The first novel, A Ship of the Line, begins with Hornblower being promoted to captain and given command of the HMS Sutherland. The ship is part of a British fleet that is blockading the French coast, preventing Napoleon's army from crossing the English Channel. However, Hornblower soon finds himself facing a series of challenges, both from the enemy and from within his own crew. One of the main themes of the book is leadership. Hornblower is a capable and intelligent officer, but he is also burdened by self-doubt and a sense of responsibility for his crew. Throughout the novel, he is forced to make difficult decisions and take risks to protect his ship and his men. He also faces challenges from his own officers, including a jealous first lieutenant who tries to undermine him at every opportunity. Another key theme is the brutality of war. The book does not shy away from depicting the violence and horror of naval combat, and Hornblower is forced to make difficult decisions that involve sacrificing the lives of his crew. Forrester also explores the psychological toll that war takes on its participants, with Hornblower struggling to cope with the stress and trauma of his experiences. The second novel, Flying Colors, continues Hornblower's story as he is tasked with escorting a group of Spanish prisoners to their homeland. Along the way, he encounters a French ship of the line, and the two engage in a thrilling battle that forms the climax of the book. One of the main themes of Flying Colors is honor. Hornblower is a man of integrity who values duty and loyalty above all else. Throughout the novel, he is forced to make difficult decisions that test his commitment to his principles. He also encounters other characters who embody different aspects of honor, including a Spanish nobleman who is willing to sacrifice his own life to protect his honor. Another key theme is the complexity of relationships. Hornblower is a complex and multifaceted character, and his relationships with other characters are similarly layered. He is often torn between his duty to his superiors and his loyalty to his crew, and he must navigate a complex web of alliances and betrayals as he carries out his mission. Forrester also explores the relationships between different nations and cultures, highlighting the tensions and misunderstandings that can arise between them. Overall, A Ship of the Line and Flying Colors are compelling and immersive novels that provide a vivid portrayal of life in the Royal Navy during the Napoleonic Wars. Forrester's writing is detailed and evocative, bringing to life the sights, sounds, and smells of life on board a naval vessel. The books are also notable for their complex and multifaceted characters, who are flawed and human but nonetheless capable of great acts of heroism and self-sacrifice. Anyone interested in naval history or historical fiction in general will find these books to be a rewarding and engaging read.